السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The word of wisdom of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There was a dialogue between a traveler and the Holy Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A traveler once came to Masjid al-Nabawi to see the Holy Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu After greeting Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was asked where he was from. The traveler replied that he came from very far just to get a few questions answered. This was the dialogue between the traveler and the Holy Prophet Muhammad. The traveler. I do not want Azab punishment to be written in my book of records. What should I do? The Holy Prophet said, behave well with your parents. Huh? Behave well with your parents. Traveler, I want to be known amongst people as an intelligent people, as an intelligent person. Holy Prophet replied, Ittaqullah, fear Allah. Traveler, I want to be counted amongst Allah's favorites. Holy Prophet replied, recite the Holy Quran every morning and every evening. Traveler, I want my heart to always be enlightened, Ya Rasulullah The Prophet replied, Never forget death. Never forget death. Traveler, I never want to be away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings. The Prophet replied, Always treat your fellow human beings well. Traveler, I never want to be harmed by my enemies. Rasulullah so replied, Have faith in Allah only. Hasbunallah ni'mal wakil. Traveler, I never want to be humiliated. Prophet said, Be careful of your actions. If you do good, you get good. If you do evil, you get evil. Beware of your actions. Traveler, I wish to live long, for long life. Rasulullah said, always do goodness towards blood relations, especially your parents. Traveler, I want my sustenance to increase. Most of the people come and give us deep up want more risk. He says, always be in the state of wudu. Remain in wudu all the time. Traveler, I wish to stay free of punishment in the grave. Prophet said, always wear pure park clothing, clean park clothing. Traveler, I never want to burn in the fire of hell. Rasulullah said, control your eyes and control your tongue. Traveler, how do I get my sins forgiven? Rasulullah replied, Subhanallah, always ask forgiveness from Allah with humility. Be humble when you request Allah to forgive your sins. And remember, we are in the 10 days of getting our sins forgiven. Allah is ready. Allah's mercy, Allah's forgiveness is in full force. Take advantage and get your sins forgiven. Traveler, I want people to respect me always. Rasulullah replied, 
Never extend your hand of need at people. Whatever you want to request to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Traveler, I want to always be honored. So Allah subhanahu wa said, never humiliate or put down anyone. Traveler, I don't want to be squeezed by the qabr, by the grave. The grave is going to squeeze you if you do a lot of sin. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, if you want light in the grave and if you don't want punishment in the grave, then recite Surah Mulk every night. That is Tabarakalladi. Biyadi is Mulku ala kulli shayin qadeer. The starting of the 29th chapter is called Surah Mulk. That is the Surah you should recite every night. In another hadith, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whoever recites Surah Mulk, and in that night, if he dies, undoubtedly he will die a believer. Inshallah. Traveler, I want my wealth to increase. Rasulullah told him, recite Surah Waqi'ah every day after Maghrib. Surah Waqi'ah in the 27th chapter. Recite that every day. Hadith, beautiful hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Suratul Waqi'ah, hadha Suratul Ghina. This is the surah of riches. Teach it to your children so that they will be free of one from any human being. Allah will provide them. Anyone who is short of risk, every day after Maghrib, should make a habit of reciting Surah Waqi'ah. It is known as Suratul Ghina. Traveler, I want to be safe and at peace on the day of Qiyah. So Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, perform dhikrullah often. You want peace and contentment of heart? It is in nothing else. Ladina amanu wa tatma'inna kulubuhum bi dhikrillah ala bi dhikrillah tatma'inna kulub. That only in the remembrance of Allah will you your heart find peace and contentment. You want that peace and contentment? Remember Allah much. Traveler, I want to be in full concentration during my salah. I think everyone, including me, we all suffer from this. When you start salah, shaitan is at full force. Mind wonders here and mind wonders there. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when you make wudu, make it with utmost and full concentration. That means a special dua has to be read when you're making wudu. Okay? It's just not washing. Ask Allah. You know, there are special duas that you read when you perform wudu. And the more time you spend to make sure that your wudu is correct, it is very, very important, inshallah. Because what happens if your wudu is not counted, if you left any place that is not washed, like your farai's area, and even one hair is not washed properly, when they say full face from one, from head to chin, from one ear to the other, full face, hands including, many people just put water here, they don't care about this part, they don't make massage correctly, they don't wash their feet correctly, watch in between your toes, use your left hand, do the correct thing. Huh? So if we do the correct thing, inshallah, you make wudu correctly, and remember the Farai's part are mentioned in the Holy Quran. Ya ayyuhaladheena amanu. O you who believe. Ida kumtum ila salah. So you go to salah. Faghsilu wujuhakum. Wa shakful fit. Wa aithiyakum ila al-marah. Wa msahu bi ruusikum. Wa arjulakum ila al-ka'bain. The four Farai's is mentioned in this verse of the Holy Quran. So we've got to take utmost care. And remember your wudu is not counted. Your salah is not counted. If your salah is not counted, how are you going to enter Jannah? Everything starts from wudu. So proper planning, proper concentration in wudu is very, very important. There's quite a bit. If you learn from here, there is a lot of things that you can take home tonight. And inshallah, these are the things that we try and encourage you to do. Because these are the things Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to do. This was his way, and we want to follow his way, the Sunnah of Muhammad Rasulullah. And look how much he's teaching us in just a short time, how much advice he's given. 
if we take this advice, it will only benefit us, inshallah. And in this blessed month of Ramadan, take all the advice, implement as much as you can, because it becomes easier once it's a habit. To make the habit, to form the habit is difficult. Once the habit is there, it becomes easy, inshallah. May the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us from this, these things that Muhammad Rasulullah taught us. May he give us the hidayah to follow our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with humility, with sincerity. And may he give us the death with the kalima, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Wa'alaikum 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 wa'